Uh, my name is Jung Ryu. I'm also known as JR, so you can call me JR Ryu. I'm the chair of this uh, workshop. And I'm also a professor of information sciences and technology at Pencil of Luna. And I'm also the head of the division of business engineering and information sciences at Pencil of Luna. So my co-chair is Dr. Dave Fusco, and he's going to say a few words too. Thanks, JR. Um, thanks, everybody, for coming. I'm really excited. Uh, to hear all of your feedback and all of the exciting discussions that are going to be happening here this week. Uh, we had a, a mixer last night and we're, we're talking about some different things and if that's the indicator for the week, uh, I think it's really going to be uh, an exciting time. So, um, again, thanks for coming. Uh, I really look forward to talking with you during the breaks. And if you have any questions at all this week, uh, just give JRI a shout and we'll be happy to help you. Next on our agenda is Dr. Larry uh, Zimmerman, who is our uh, Associate Dean for Research, and he graciously agreed to uh, give some congratulatory remarks. So I'll turn this over to Dr. Zimmerman. Okay. Uh, thanks very much, Jara. Uh, Jara asked me to give a few uh, opening uh, remarks. A welcome to each of you. And so I do want to say good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Darren Zimmerman. I'm the Associate Dean for Research here at Penn State Austin, and also the Interim Associate Dean for Academic Affairs this year. And we are delighted to have you here and have each one of you participate in this uh, second in the series for STEM Education and Virtual World Workshops, sponsored by the Funding from the National Science Foundation. Uh, so welcome, everyone, and especially those who have traveled quite a long way to get here. Uh, Dr. Professor Castell is here from our sister institution, St. Poulton, University of Applied Sciences in St. Poulton, Austria. So, welcome. Good to see you. You've, uh, you've made this an in a truly international workshop. So, <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, the theme of this workshop, augmenting post-secondary STEM courses using digital learning aids with virtual learning environments, is a timely one. In an era where education is evolving to meet the needs of current, the current generation and the cost of education continues to rise, the innovative use of technology is changing how educators teach and how students are prepared to meet the challenges of the 21st century. Over the next four days, you'll be hearing from and networking with educators and software industry experts to share in how virtual learning environments can be seamlessly integrated with the classroom. I find the active nature of this workshop especially exciting. Uh, as, as participants, you'll be forming groups and teams to develop mock proposals that incorporate ideas discussed in the daily presentations. Working together this way embodies the true spirit of collaboration, allowing the knowledge gained to be put into practice immediately. I do want to thank uh, the conference organizers for planning and inviting us to that, uh, Dr. Chung Ryu. He's already introduced himself, I'll say it again, but Professor of Information Sciences and Technology, and also head of, business, uh, the, head of the Division of Business, Engineering, and IST, which is also known as BEAST. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, here at Penn State, I'll say. And then uh, Dr. David Fusco, uh, I guess it's Assistant Teaching Professor of Information Sciences and Technology. You're up to speed on the new title. <laughs> new titles, right? Okay, at University Park, Penn State University Park. And uh, Dr. Kirk Winkleman uh, from uh, Florida Institute of Technology, Assistant Professor of Chemistry there. Um, last but not least, I'd like to thank uh, Allison Bonsell and her uh, team. Uh, she's the Director of Housing and Food Services here. And I'd like to thank her and her team for uh, preparing and maintaining these facilities. And uh, I'd also like to thank Jack Sinclair and his team for helping set this uh, conference up and make sure everything runs runs smoothly. So um, finally, I would uh, thank our Chancellor, uh, Dr. Lori Bechtel-Wary for her support as well. Um, as one of 24 Penn State University campuses, Penn State Altoona enrolls about 3,600 students. And while some of those move on to complete their degree at University Park, many of those students remain here uh, to complete about 21 uh, 
potential degrees, degree programs. We have a very active faculty, uh, one that prioritizes student success, and one that values engaged learning. And uh, some of that engaged learning involves undergraduate research, which is the hallmark of the college. So uh, while you're here, I just uh, I, I just ask you to make yourself at home. And uh, we're really very happy to have you here, and uh, you're honored guests of ours. So welcome. Uh, please enjoy this workshop. I think it's going to be very exciting. There's a lot, to, a lot to be discussed, and it's uh, some pretty interesting stuff. So uh, I hope that in the next, uh, in the coming years, we'll see some of this stuff actually be implemented in the curriculum. So again, welcome, and thank you, thank you very much. For Okay, so as you all uh, know, we have these four different tracks for this workshop, and today's track is uh, digital storytelling, and Mr. Ryan Vetzel is the chair of the track. So before I turn this over to uh, Ryan, I'm going to just introduce him just a little bit. So Ryan is uh, the manager of creative learning initiatives at Penn State Teaching and Learning, with technology. So I'm going to turn this over to Ryan. So welcome everybody. Uh, this first day, as Jada mentioned, is all about digital storytelling and virtual learning environments. I think we have a really interesting program for today where we'll hear from a variety of speakers about the work that they're already doing in this realm. Uh, to bring that virtual environment into the classroom and bring their students out of the classroom and into all of these different experiences. Just to set it up briefly, you'll hear more from uh, my group a little bit later today, but part of uh, what I do with TLT and for all of Penn State uh, is run the media commons. Uh, so if you're a Penn State faculty member, you may have worked with the media commons over the years. We help faculty uh, incorporate digital media and digital storytelling techniques into the class and can help their students maybe uh, uh, augment their research papers or, uh, or add additional new projects for them, uh, like creating uh, research videos, something that helps them tell the narrative of their course content and their research through something like a video or a podcast. Uh, we also uh, run the Maker Commons, which allows faculty to incorporate making technologies into the classroom that's free 3D printing for Penn State students, and lots of different opportunities for invention uh, and building new ideas. And so an area that we're looking at going forward is, uh, is this entire area right here of virtual learning environments. We'll hear a lot about virtual reality. We'll hear a lot about 360 degree video today. Um, we'll even uh, share some ideas of how we would implement this in the classroom. So we'll get into even more of how the media commons is supporting that and if you're a Penn State faculty member, how you can take advantage of that in the afternoon. Uh, but for now, I want to uh, move on to some of our speakers, some of the faculty that have already been incorporating with this uh, in their classroom and having their students engage with this and, and having their own research take part of this. So